This game against United with Everton to come on the final day, do you get the sense that this is their last major hurdle to overcome? Yes. Is there to keep winning and, and keep that pressure on City? I think so, especially yeah, at home to Everton on the final day. Uh, their, their form at the Emirates is so good. Um, in some ways, you know, you could argue that this isn't the, the biggest challenge given United's recent form. But having said that, Arsenal's only victory at Old Trafford in the Premier League since 2006 was during COVID when there were no fans in the stadium. So when there are fans in the stadium, United do still hold a bit of a psychological advantage there against Arsenal. Um, having said that, they have beaten them, I think, at Old Trafford once in the FA Cup a few years back. But um, they should nevertheless be pretty confident. They've got the best away record in the league. They've dropped just two points away from home since December. Um, they've actually conceded fewer goals away from home than they have at home as well. So, you know, you compare, you know, you talk about, you know, United's makeshift defence, Arsenal's defence has just been so supreme this season. And with the United team lacking in this much confidence and goals at the moment, it's hard to see that back line being breached. Um, especially a, a fully fit back line. Um, and United's form at Old Trafford this season, at least, hasn't been particularly good either. And, you know, yes, we saw, you know, how great the away support was at Palace despite that loss last night. But, you know, when, when United aren't playing well at Old Trafford, then, you know, the, the atmosphere can become, you know, pretty, pretty hard to play in. Um, so, yeah, I think Arsenal do go into that, that game on Sunday um, as pretty major favourites. Um, it just depends whether, you know, whether City beat Fulham on Saturday and whether the pressure of that will get to Arsenal. Because I think over the last few weeks in general, they've tended to play before City. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I think they are the strong favourites and deservedly so. I mean, they've won t 10 more games than United this season. There are 29 points ahead of them. Goals, goals against, it's a completely different story as well. Yes, there's a little bit of history there, not the best record there. But this is a completely different Arsenal side. You know, they've been through difficult patches in games. They didn't play particularly well against Spurs the weekend before last. Even against Bournemouth at the weekend, they were struggling to get that opening goal despite playing so well in that first half. Yes, there was moments of fortune there. It was quite a soft penalty on, on Havertz. There was the controversy with the Bournemouth goal as well. But with players like Declan Rice, Trossard, Odegaard in such great form as well, there's match winners all across the side. And I'd be very surprised if they didn't beat United this weekend. Yep, a lot has been made, hasn't it, of the improvements at set pieces. James, tell us all about Nicola Gervais and, and who he is and what he does. Yeah, Arsenal's set peach coast, as you can see here. He's helped turn them into the best from dead ball situations this season. Now, Mikel Arteta, you can see in the corner there, only worked with him for six months at Manchester City before he took the job at Arsenal. But it's clear he made a big impression on him in those six months. Gervais spent two years at City before joining Arsenal in July 2021. And as you can see, in the season before he arrived... Arsenal just scored six goals from set pieces in the Premier League, excluding penalties. But his influence has been fairly clear since then. We see him taking up his place in the technical area when Arsenal get a set piece in a dangerous position. And the scale of Arsenal's improvement in this area has been huge. We saw in the North London derby, they scored twice from corners, which contributes to the 22 goals they've scored from set pieces this season, excluding penalties. That's 25%, more than a quarter of their goals scored so far this season, coming from those dead ball situations, whether it be corner, whether it be free kicks, that's more than any other side in the Premier League. And that has been a key factor in their push towards the Premier League title. Wow, so that is incredible. A league high 22 goals from set pieces uh, this season. So how key has that been? Yeah, I think it's been it's been massive. Um, I, I think it's one of the best records in Premier League history, 22 goals in a single season. I think Arsenal's previous best was 18 back in 2009-10. Um, so, yeah, it, it's been huge for them. And uh, weirdly, only four of those goals from set pieces have come since February. So, actually, in, in some ways, that you know, that, that set piece training was was more important to them in the earlier stages of the season when actually they weren't necessarily at their best from open play. So they were kind of bailed out actually by their ability from set pieces. And that's how important it's been to them. They were able to rely on set pieces a lot more earlier in the campaign. And, you know, since January time, they've been at their free flowing best and they haven't had to rely on them quite as much. So in terms of Arsenal becoming a side that can sustain a title challenge through thick and thin across the, the course of a campaign, I think that has been a defining factor. 
Yeah, if City can get past Fulham, they're four to one on to win that one. City, give you a, a little clue of what the bookmakers think. And Arsenal can, can overcome Manchester United. Then a week today, Arsenal fans will be hoping that Tottenham Hotspur can do them a favour. Yeah, big time, big and time. They? Um, it will be difficult, for sure. I mean, Spurs have really, really hit the buffers this season. Uh, they've lost their last four games. They've conceded 13 goals in that time. But they do have an excellent recent record against City, quite bizarrely. Uh, they've won their last four games against them at home. City haven't scored a goal in those games. They've scored six themselves. But it just feels like a few of those players that were playing so well at the start of this season, Eve Basuma, James Madison, even Son Heung-min, their form recently just not at the same level it was and injuries across the back line as well. We've already talked about United's injuries, but Ben Davis missing, uh, Destiny Odogi cruci crucially as well, meaning Emerson Royal has to play at left back. That's a huge issue against the City side that have really clicked into gear in the Premier League in the last few years. I think they are fueled by that Champions League exit to Real Madrid as well. They are fully focused on the Premier League uh, and I think they are the strong favourites to go all the way and win this title. Um, but yeah, Spurs, that is where Arsenal will be praying in this quite bizarre set of circumstances. Mm.